What's up, y'all? We're going to keep this fly tying thing going. Today we're going to be doing a beaded hair's ear nymph, or at least my version of the beaded hair's ear nymph. All right. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is grab you a nymph hook and your gold bead head. Uh, I guess you could pretty much use what other, whatever color bead head you want for this one, but my version is with a gold bead head. Uh, and then same with the thread. I find that the color of the hair's ear nymph, it just goes well with the brown thread. Uh, you don't have any black or black thread or any, if you use a white thread or floss or whatever, you don't have that showing through. So brown is the way to go in my opinion. Take it or leave it. <laughs> so get your thread started on there uh, and go all the way down to <coughs> the uh, curve of the hook. I'm not waiting this one. I mentioned this in videos before. You can, uh, I'm not going to, but you can. Um, and this is my version of the hair's ear nymph. I'm not using any rabbit hair dubbing or anything that would be normally uh, traditionally used in this fly. This is just my version. Looks like it, it works the same, you'll see. Uh, well, you won't see that it works the same in this video, but you'll, you'll see later on. But. Uh, You'll see in this video that it does look like a hair's ear nymph. So. Right now I'm grabbing some pheasant tail uh, fibers that I'm going to use as the tail of this fly. And uh, that's kind of, I don't think that's traditionally what you do, but it kind of just, it's my, my way of doing it. This is my fly, my, this is Romero Outdoors hair's ear nymph. So. Go ahead and lay those feathers down on there. Get that bead out of the way. And loosely wrap it, just get them set. And then as you wrap up the body, uh, go ahead and tighten those wraps. We should be just like that. Snip off, tag in, and work your thread up. And, uh, You'll see when I do some of these flies that I, I put a lot of thread on there, work it up. It, it just adds to the body. I'm not weighting it. I don't have any extra weight on there uh, to thicken the body of the fly. So sometimes I'll take a few wraps and it's just how I do it. Personal preference. Um, gold ribbing. This is gold wire. Go ahead and grab you a section of that. You're gonna tie it in right by where the start of the tail is. And this will be the ribbing for the fly. Right there. that on there, give it a few good wraps. Again, you see I went up to the beat and back down. Just adding some thickness to it. It's crazy, like, this video, so I, like a, a video that I just recently posted, <clears throat> I mentioned that I use cam my camera gear that I use uh, is phones. And, uh, this one, I couldn't get this video to focus as good as I would have liked, but oh well. Getting off subject, the, what I just showed you is the dubbing that I'm going to use. It's color is very similar to the rabbit fur dubbing, rabbit hair dubbing, except it's got a little bit of shine in it, so I think it works a little better, again, in my opinion. So. Go ahead and get that dubbing on there. Um, and like I mentioned in another video, I don't use dubbing wax or any kind of uh, adhesive. I lick my finger and that's it. It works great. Try it, trust me. You'll never buy dubbing wax again. So <laughs> get that going on there. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. You can build up more. You can put more on, 
can't take it off once it's on there. So, well, I mean, you could, but you're gonna basically be starting over. So just start with a little bit and work your way up. You gotta add more, add more, but just makes the, the body of the fly a lot better to do it this way. So add some more dubbing on there. Give that finger a lick, yep. And it just works really, really well. I wasn't my original idea, I stole it. I can't remember what video I was watching when I saw it or I would put it in the description, but I uh, never thought about doing that. I hated using dubbing and then I saw that, tried it and it works great. And now dubbing is like one of my favorite materials to use for bodies of nymphs. So, crazy how it could change overnight. <laughs> so, go ahead and start it right about, I'd say about a third. So, from the eye of the hook, you want to go a third of the way back and stop. That's where you want to stop the dubbing. And that's because you're going to add, you're going to make the thorax of the nymph and it's a different, well, you'll see. It's hard to explain. So now we're going to take the ribbon up, work it nice and even. This is where taking your time pays off. You want nice, even wraps with that wire. Creates nice, even body segments. So get it all the way up to where the dubbing, the end of the dubbing and secure it on there with your thread. A few wraps. And then once you got a few on there, just alternate uh, each side of the wire, kind of lock it in. And then once you get that secured, go ahead and helicopter that wire off. It should break right at the thread. Make a nice clean cut, clean break. Because over time, uh, I mean, unless you've got really, really, really expensive scissors, over time that wire will dull about and could dent the blades of your scissors. So Next I'm gonna take, this is called body stretch. And you're gonna go ahead and use, <clears throat> you can use bag, you could use uh, any kind of material like this will work. Um, let's secure it in just like that and go all the way up to where the, the, the dubbing stopped. And then you're gonna add more dubbing. Finish off the body. Put that dubbing on your thread. Another thing when you're putting dubbing on your thread, the tighter that you pinch when you're rolling it on there, the better. <clears throat> another That was another problem I was having before when I'd go to put dubbing on, is I just wasn't pinching it hard enough. It wasn't, on, it didn't want to bond to the thread. And when it did bond to the thread, it wasn't real tight. So when I'd go to wrap and cut it on a ravel and it would just, it was a mess. It was very discouraging. <laughs> so good. And you're going to build up the thorax of this nymph. Put a little bit more on the front than you did on the back. And then go ahead and take that body material, the, the body stretch or whatever material you're using and fold it over sure it's nice and even another thing you don't want to do is stretch it while you're tying it on there big mistake because when you release the pressure it could come out from underneath your threads another thing I learned the hard way <laughs> so let's trim that off and then you're gonna do a few more wraps to secure it and try to fold it back a little bit when you cut it as close as you can, a lot of times the thread will cover up the, the excess flap that's hanging over. So I'm going to do a couple whip finishes. Get that on there nice and secured. And then on this fly, do one whip finish, I'm going to do another whip finish. But on, a, on this fly, you can actually use some head cement on that uh, body stretch or the plastic bag or whatever you use adds a little more of a shell so 
Next thing you're gonna do, which I normally don't do, is brush out the dubbing. And I don't have a dubbing brush. What I'm actually using is a bore brush, a bristle bore, bore brush for a 45 caliber pistol. I don't have a 45, um, so I figured, you know, I could just throw this in my fly box. It came in a kit that I have for cleaning uh, pistols and rifles, so. Using other things for different things, and it just works. <laughs> Here's the uh, end result of the hair's ear nymph, the beaded hair's ear nymph. Great fly for trout. Never caught a steelhead, but I know you can. Um, never caught a steelhead on this fly, but I know you can. A lot of guys will use it as their secondary fly uh, in their two fly pattern. So, But I do know it produces trout. We caught lots of trout on this fly. So hopefully we'll be doing that here shortly. Kind of got a late start on fishing this year, but that should end soon. We'll get out there and go catch us some fish, hopefully on some of these uh, flies. So, right on. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share our videos, and we will see you next time. Take it easy.